morning, good, good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for another nasal snuff review. I've been doing that a lot lately. Eh? Was, I've been dipping a lot, so I always got to dip in my teeth. Um, but yeah, so I reached in my box of snuff and... Uh, I pulled out Samuel Gowith, original in English mm -hmm. snuff, uh, Elmo's Reserve. And uh, www.samuelgowith.co.uk is where you can find more information. Um, I did read up on this a little wee bit. It's uh, named after, a, a, I guess, way, way back in the day, um, there was a loyal customer to Samuel Gaywith and Sons and uh he had a he he had a dog named Elmo who died so this was this is a tribute to Elmo the dog which I think is very cute and very nice <clears throat> now it says it's a it's a vanilla uh snuff and I've never been a fan of vanilla snuff before but we will see. I've tried, I can't remember the kinds I've tried. I've tried a couple of them. And uh, I think one was a schmalter. And one was uh, definitely an English, an English snuff. Wilson's of Cheryl. Yeah, that's who made it. Anyhow, we're going to give this a try. Those were just baby bumps. We gotta get some, some good ones going here. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it. And I am here to do it. That's right. So yeah, holy moly, is this ever a vanilla? But I actually I like I thought I think I like it. Um, it's like it's like a fine it's a fine dry English snuff. English snuffs are usually pretty fine and pretty dry. Uh, German snuffs are usually kind of more coarsely ground and fluffier. Um, American Scotch snuffs are dry as dust. Um, but yeah, so but yeah, English snuffs are usually pretty dry. And, uh, but the min it's okay. I, it's they said now they said it had a strong vanilla set sm scent, but what it's actually scented with is something called I think a Tonkin bean, um, which is pretty pretty cool. You know, like I've never heard of Tonkin bean before, um, and it's. Maybe that's why I like it because it's not a vanilla. It's a it's a Tonkin bean. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice, very nice. It's like I could see this. Uh, I could see using this after drinking a nice cup of coffee, you know, or uh, it's like it's really long lasting, like. The thing I find about nasal snuff is it I get a good blammo from it and it dies out pretty quick for me for some reason, but this is really lasting. It's it's a lovely, lovely Tonkin bean scent. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, suit and tie dip and chew guy. Uh, this is a this is a real uh, a real cool thing. Yeah, Elmo's reserve. Elmo the dog. Gotta love the dogs. And uh, there's another there's another Samuel Gowith in here. I'll probably I don't know if I'm gonna do it next or a Schmaltzer next, but Schmaltzler. Sorry. Um, 
I got this other San Diego gal with called Keswick, you know, so I'm kind of excited to try it. Okay. Um, hey. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, that's, that's, I guess that's my review. It's a really nice uh, vanilla, heavy vanilla scent, but it's not vanilla. It's this other bean um, that smells like vanilla. So, and it's a light, uh, dry English snuff. Um, it's not medicated uh, or mentholated, you know. Um, I think a beginner would find it hard to take because of the dryness. Uh, I, I can, I have, I don't have much trouble with any nasal snuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend it for beginners, but for, for people who can really, this, this is a snuff for people who really can appreciate a good snuff, you know, um, and the, it's like, oh man, there's so much, there's so much coming out in this, uh whatever, the, the Tonkin bean, like, there's so much, uh, complexity to the scent of it, it's, uh, it's really astounding, it's amazing how snuff, you know, it's, it's just like, you can just, it's something on your hand, and you sniff it, and it, like, your world changes for a minute, it's, it's, I love that about it, you know, um, it seems to have, I've had a lot higher nicotine kicks from, from nasal snuff, you know, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe this is, maybe this would be a good beginner snuff. The only reason I say it wouldn't be a good beginner snuff is because it's not men mentholated and it's kind of dry, but it's delicious. It's so good. It's filling my whole face with this, with this scent, and uh, it's, it's, the more I smell it, the more complex it gets. It's like, you know, got like honey in it. It's got, uh, you know, you kind of feel like you're standing outside in a garden. Um, yeah, it's just like, it, I don't know, like how do you, how do you describe the air as it, as it goes by with different, different scents of different things, you know? It's like it's kind of like that. It's a it's a really it's a really rich vanilla scent, but it's uh, got way more to it, you know. And it's actually since I took it, I'm feeling I'm kind of feeling my mouth go numb a bit, <laughs> which is kind of weird. I do take pretty big bumps of nasal snuff though, but uh, yeah. I, 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 anyway, I'm going to recommend it for sure. If you can get it, uh, you can get it through mrsnuff.com. Uh, Samuel Gaywith, uh, Elmo's Reserve. There you go. Check it out if you can. And you like, you like things that smell like vanilla. It's awesome. Thank you so much, suit and tie, dip and chew guy. All right. I got another video coming that's going to be longer i've been working on it since yesterday so we'll maybe get that finished up today but in the meantime be well and i will have i i hope you have a great day i really do i hope you have a great day bye now <laughs>